What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity broadcasting live out here in nature, you know, with the dog. Going for a walk. Continuing the video cast. Anyways, yeah, like, I was... I'm glad I remembered to start recording because I thought about doing it earlier. And, like, they were, like, landscape workers or whatever, like, with a lot of loud lawnmower stuff, and it was really loud, so I made sure I didn't do it. Anyways, we're out here, nature, fresh, sniffing up everything, I'm probably gonna go on the sidewalk, cause, you know, otherwise, it's just gonna be sniffing for days, same old, same old. Sometimes it feels like those movies or whatever, where, like, you know, the law enforcement or whatever, like, the dogs are, like, searching for, like, you know, bombs and you know, just weapons and stuff like that. That's why I be saying I'm like a cop, honestly. <laughs> like, I'm like a nature cop. Like, I don't, like, I already have a badge ingrained within me, to be honest. Like, that's hilarious when we can realize this because whenever you let go of your of judgment on your own self and you free yourself within and you're on, like, supreme, superhuman type of, you know, miraculous type of vegan, thriving, spiritual living, you know, like, (laughs) you're like a superhero. I'm a superhero, you know, of my story. So, like, that's why I changed my perspective on cops and police and law enforcement and this and that, because, you know, I feel like all that is just based on intent. You know, I don't feed into all the hype, all the drama, all the news and media manipulation. It doesn't serve us. Why would you want to keep feeding into something that pisses you off or that's dramatic or fearful and everything? That's why I don't watch none of that stuff, you know, and I've been able to experience what I've been able to experience. You know, it's all about intent, you know, intent, intent. Are you going to choose to be, you know, the hero of your story? Or are you going to choose to just give up, you know, and take take the easy road? You know what I'm saying? So life is definitely life. And at the same time, I'm glad that I'm choosing to be free and, you know, just learn from it. Learn from, you know, just all like detaching from all this programming, honestly, for so many years. With all this hoopla and fear built up within us, there's a lot of gross misinformation out there. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of miscommunications out there, you know? And at the same time, moving forward, I'm so grateful that I'm free. You know what I'm saying? I'm so grateful I learned to stop judging myself. I'm so grateful I have realized that it's all equal and that nobody has power over me. You know, nobody controls me, nobody owns me, nobody possesses me, you know, like, (laughs) this is true, honestly. And like, that's liberating in itself because you see past the illusion, like all the other stuff is kind of like a matrix game kind of stuff. Come on, let's go. All the other stuff is like a matrix kind of game, you know, where people just want to argue inside an office for hours, for weeks, for years, you know what I'm saying? Because people is holding on to grudges. People don't love their, uh, people don't love themselves. Honestly, that's what it is. Like they say, the more self love you have, the less judgment you have, the less self love you have, the more hard you're making your life, you know, because you aren't able to let go of grudges. You aren't able to just let go and see the bigger picture that is that we don't control nobody that nobody owns us that you know true love is freedom you know so like the world is a reflection therefore you know you got to be free within to see what's up like I'm saying you know I'm saying that's how I'm here right now I'm living out the karma of all of my past lives right now and it's because I'm choosing my life. I'm realizing that we have that power, you know, 
there's a lot of people that are running around paranoid, you know, just caught up in their ego, rushing and racing around, competing with, you know, doing all types of just insane, insane things, you know, fast life type of, fast living type of stuff, you know, and like, I'm glad that I've realized that, hey, I don't have to be hard, I don't have to be tough, you know, because that's not who I am, it never has, you know what I'm saying, and like, I knew it, I knew something was going on in the world, you know, to each his own, people are going to do whatever, in their own life, it's just, I'm grateful to realize that I am protected, you know, I am unstoppable, you know, like, just simple things like that, because I'm just walking on my own path, and it may be different, you know, it may be different, You, it is unique, you know what I'm saying, that takes a lot more strength to do that, because you're just realizing who you are, you know, not being around people that you know, don't have your best interests at hand, people that you're lying about, you know, that y'all got all these games going on and, you know, just on edge type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, that quick, fast-paced stuff, and a lot of people, honestly, they honestly never had parents growing up, you know, they never had a mother, they never had a father, both of them in their life, or any of them, you know, so, like, that's why a lot of people, you know, take their anger out, you know what I'm saying, like, it's real talk, I'm grateful to at least have my parents, I'm not saying everything is perfect, I don't know it all, and of course, with this whole nutritional adjustment, I'm a completely new man, and I'm living a karma-free life, you know, and I'm just saying, like, you know, you see the bigger picture when you make the inner changes, and like, I'm glad that, you know, the internal is the truth, and I'm glad I'm free with that. Because, like, <laughs> you see the bigger picture is my point. Sometimes, that's why I don't watch no TV or anything, but sometimes, occasionally, people might send me, like, a news story or whatever about some celebrity or just random person on TV. And I won't really connect with it at all because it's just drama. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love good news. Why would people focus on bad news? Do you really want to bring your newborn child into the world, you know, scaring them, spooking them, making them fearful, you know, belittling them, getting them all worried and scared and everything? Or would you want to, like, actually bring them in in, like, a loving way, you know, bring them in in a a way of, you know, that will have them smiling, you know what I'm saying, happy doesn't mean everything's perfect. It's just like, you know, like you're being you, you're being true. You're being a kind, compassionate soul. And like, I've always been into those type of movies. I know life is real life. I'm just saying like, I've had, you know, I'm interested into like real cool movies. Like my favorite actors are like Sylvester Stallone, Will Smith, Denzel Washington, you know, those inspirational type of movies, you know, vibes. I never really got into all this fear, fearful, scary movie, this scary, this, you know, all that stuff. I'm not knocking it. I'm not talking down. I'm just saying, like, it's just not really ever been a thing for me because it just makes sense to just, you know, it's just what I'm into. It's just inspiration, like upliftment. Why would you want to keep holding yourself down? in a state of being scared and fearful, you know what I'm saying, for real, so that's why I'm grateful for this whole YouTube thing, because it helped me to breathe, you know what I'm saying, because that's the whole thing, people, that's the whole inner truth, those rare chosen ones like I am, who are for real, and y'all see it from the ground up, from scratch, you know, not this instant gratification type stuff, fake stuff, I'm not believing that hype, you know what I'm saying? I know what I, like, what was, I'm aware of what really is is real out there, you know what I'm saying? And it takes, you know, gradual work, gradual watering, like a tree, you know? So, I'm just realizing that, and, you know, YouTube helps us to breathe. Like, for me to just be able to walk out in nature with the dog and get paid for it, that's, like, the dream and the plan on a bigger scale, to be honest with y'all, because 
Me, I love nature. I love all the herbs. I love all the fruits and vegetables. I love sunshine. You know, I love being free. I love traveling. I love love. I love family. You know, I love just being myself, honestly. All these nutrition and health supplements and stuff like that. Like, I love all that. Every all, Everything nature, honestly. I'm a health and wellness advocate, and that's the theme of my life, you know, and helping the animals, too, and, you know, having a family. So, like, I realized I don't need to sell nothing, like, my soul or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, I'm aware that I'm worthy of a lot, and I'm worth a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I realized the bigger picture. I'm not here just to, you know, sell a product or something like that. Like, I'm, you know, I'm priceless, to be honest with y'all. Like, just my energy is good enough, is what I'm saying. Like, there, I can go into a school or a hospital or something like that, and just my energy is already good enough just to give them counseling, guidance, help, nurturing energy, you know, nutritional information I'm learning. You know, just that spirituality, like, I'm like a a celestial spiritual messenger, honestly, a light messenger, for real, you know, I even played Hermes, like the Greek actor, Greek whatever character from that one play, I remember I did that way back in the day at, um, in middle school, the Greek character's name is Hermes, and he's like a He's, a, he's supposed to be like a messenger. Anyways, that's all I'm saying, you know, and like, that's how I'm seeing it. You know, just my worth, just my presence, my energy and everything. Like, yeah, I get it. We can make t-shirts, you know, we can make clothing and, you know, write a book. That's cool. I'm just saying on an even deeper level, you know what I'm saying? Like the world, there's a lot of sickness in the world for real. And people know it too, no matter how much we want to try to you know, lie or whatever, it's, <laughs> that we know what's up, you know what I'm saying, a lot of us are overcoming a whole lot of sickness, because we have been lied to, you know, we have been just living like a lie, honestly, like just starting with the food, to be honest, you know, so like, that clouds up a whole lot, and you know, it blurs up a whole lot, so the point I'm making is, is that you know, the food thing is the biggest thing I notice. And once I started changing that, I'm like, hmm, there's a lot of healing to do, you know, because I spent, what, two decades consuming something that's not made for me, that's designed to kill us, honestly, you know, like go out into nature, go out into the wilderness, go out into the forest and ask yourself, do you see you know, a burger growing from a tree, you know, from the beautiful forest. You see a burger growing from the forest. Yeah, some lettuce might grow out in nature. Some tomatoes and onions might grow out in nature. The bread, that don't. That for sure is not from the jungle, you know. I don't know how that thing got made. White bread, that's starch, you know. And what else? The burger patty. I'm vegan, so I have plant-based, you know, vegetable type of patties, you know. But the mainstream, the processed meats, which cause cancer, you know, you can look up the World Health Organization. Processed meats causes cancer. Anyways, that, like, that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because (laughs) the dog I'm walking right now. I'm not about here. I'm not out here trying to kill it or anything. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine yourself or are you going to, are you willing to go and, you know, get rid of your dog, your animal, you know, kill it and eat it? For me, the answer is no. I don't need to, you know, I don't need to kill no other life form, to be honest. I'm glad I never have, too. I'm glad I've never let myself ever stress myself out like that because that comes back. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad I'm doing this whole YouTube thing and everything because guess what? 
I'm, I get my mind right with this. And the fact that I'm living a karma-free life, coming in peace, is awesome. Because, like, the toxic relationship I was in was actually a blessing in disguise. Because, like, whenever we would get into heated battles and stuff like that, and it was fire with fire, then I felt, I noticed, you know, I noticed that, you know, it was cause and effect. The ancient kemetic principle you know, cause and effect. And it was true. You know what I'm saying? We see that time and time again. If you're going to go play football, boxing, this or that, you know, and I guess the best way I saw it was just in the relationship thing. Whenever, you know, we both got real mad and petty towards each other, you know, doing this tit for tat stuff, you know, it stung. It burned. You know, it was fire. It was, you know, not cool. Very unpleasant. And, you know, not cool at all. And I notice whenever we don't feed into that and we just rise above it, it doesn't happen. You know, that's why I walk around with no fear, because I'm aware of my own, the full extent of my own stupidity or my own ignorance. You know, I'm wise. I'm aware of how far I've gone in a way that doesn't serve me, you know, (laughs) so that's all I'm saying, you know, like, I'm grateful for the simple things, because those lessons about the cause and effect and everything helped me to clear my mind up a whole lot, because, you know, it's a fearful world, honestly, the internet, the food, you know, the schooling, the music, you know, I'm not saying it's all bad, I'm just saying there's energies and entities in this world that, like, are trying to snatch you away from your own self, you know, I'm not trying to get you scared or anything, I'm just saying like, you know, obviously you know how to respond, to be calm and to, you know, hold your ground and everything and, you know, not to worry or anything, it's just, I'm saying people have different hearts, you know what I'm saying, and like the warmest, most biggest, compassionate type of hearts are the best hearts, you know, that's family, that's people that really care about you and really love you, without a doubt, you know, and not everybody's like that in the world, unfortunately, that's just the real truth, it doesn't mean you have to have a grudge or go to war or fight them or anything, it just means that, hey, you know, let people be them, you don't have to know all 7 billion people in the world, you don't have to you know, hold everybody's hand in the world. Yeah, it would be great, right? And guess what? It's not happening. You know what I'm saying? It's not happening. So we just got to get real with ourselves. And that's what I've noticed. And I'm just glad that I've gone through the things I've gone through, especially realizing that I'm living a karma-free life. It's awesome because you see how valuable our life truly is and how, you know, mastering our emotions and feelings and stuff like that is something that we learn, you know, on our own, honestly. And few people actually do it, you know, because most people sell out, you know what I'm saying, with that whole linear type of thinking, you know, for those of us that are daring to follow our hearts, you know, we're reaping the benefits, honestly, because... We, we're stand, staying true to us, you know, like, that's a bold thing to do when you're able to say no, or whenever you're, you know, still being you, and you got so far, you know, doing collaboration work, as well as time alone, and you understood why you left certain things, you know, let them be, and you realize, hey, you know, you don't have to get along with everybody, you know, because you're giving out good vibes. So it's nothing personal. The good vibes come back to me and, you know, I'm not involved in other people's drama. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on in this world isn't it? and it doesn't have anything to do with me. So anyways, I'm grateful just for the simple things. I'm grateful even for the most wild experiences you know, where I was stressed out, this and that, it teaches us a lot about our own self through other people. So 
Anyways, remember that ancient hermetic, hermetic principle, cause and effect. You know, that one's a big one. And I'm glad to have grasped that. Because it is a mirror. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you say you want, you know, to live a peaceful life, this and that, and yet you're constantly getting, you know, yourself into traumatic experiences, talking about weapons and, you know, aggression and toxic stuff, then guess what? That's constantly going to be thriving in your life until you just say, hey, I don't need to play around with fire. You know, I don't need to get myself stressed out with all this stuff, you know, in a in an unhealthy pursuit of material possessions. You know, that's the case that mostly happens. People are in their ego. But those of us that are in our hearts, we let that stuff go. You know, we see the bigger picture that, hey, money is a tool. It's always going to be there. I don't need to fight nobody for love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I came here to, I'm a, I'm a king. You know what I'm saying? And kings are worthy of the best. So are queens. So, anyways, I'm just sharing some dope vibes with y'all. Keeping it real. Embracing the peace. Grateful to be alive. It's some dope power. So, I'm encouraging y'all to do the same. Or, like, you know, in your own way. I'm, ex- I'm encouraging y'all to express your self share your story as well you know because it'll help clear up the atmosphere and you'll see that you know you're really strong to be doing something different because you freed yourself because you listen to your heart instead of blending in with the crowd that's living a lie it's eternal authenticity broadcasting live